So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. So guys, I appreciate all the support as usual. Uh, can't thank you guys enough. Uh, smash that like button as I always ask you guys and you always do smash the like button. I appreciate in the live streams yesterday. Wow, what a live stream yesterday. I'm going to put up that bit about with Christian and Mike. I'm going to cut that bit out. It was a great, it was a great, great piece of... Um, uh that's what that's what i call a debate you know what uh, you know mike said something to christian in the in the in the live stream that that you know what you're getting too emotional you know what it is that's what makes a debate when someone gets emotional me and my brother have had some serious debates we get emotional but that's when you usually get your best de debates when someone's emotionally invested to something you know Mike was emotionally invested in the fact that he felt he felt, you know, wrong with what Christian was saying. And Christian felt emotion emotionally attached to Andrade in the sense that he felt that Andrade is being done wrong and he's not getting the opportunities, he's not getting the fights. And this is what makes great debates, guys. It makes great viewing. Great viewing. I know some of you, some of you that are Canelo, you ain't gonna like what. But at the end of the day, that's what makes great debates. Great viewing. It makes, because it, it, everyone's got a different opinion in this game. You know, like I've seen some people with some ridiculous opinions, and I'm like, what's what's this guy going on off on about? Like, but that's because that's what makes it. Like, remember, in this world, not everybody's gonna think like you. We all have different minds. We all wired up different. We all think differently. So I don't think. Just because somebody thinks differently from you that we should start having a go at them. Just l let them have their opinion. You know what? And I appreciate Christian coming on to give his point of view. Because that's the way he feels. And Mike and Ray and all these guys that come on. They all have their point of view which sometimes you may not agree with. You know? But yeah, it was a brilliant live stream, guys. Brilliant live stream. And you know what? The live streams are getting bigger. You guys are are getting uh actually some of you actually are becoming a bit more um confident to come on camera as well like we're having some new people like adam came on i think that might have been adam um he's normally in the live in the live chats he's come on see this is what this is what makes it great like eventually when it starts feeling like a family feel everyone's gonna want to come on you know and james dear you know he's in the chat a lot Don Dada, you know, these are some names that now I, I, it, I can reel off like that because I know you guys are always there. I would love some of you guys that I know that are in the chat, I would love to, some of you guys to come on camera and give your opinion because some of you give some great insight. Great insight. Some of you give some great insight. Angel Galagos. I, that's another one. I would love you to come on camera. There's so many. There's so many, man. There's so many of you that I would love to come on, uh, come on camera. Um, yeah, it was. It's great, man. It's great. It's great doing those videos. I really, I really, it really makes me feel good. Uh, it makes you guys get a voice as well to share your opinion. Um, and I don't know whether there, I don't know whether there's many people, YouTube channels that do that. To be honest, let anyone on and give their say. You know, as long as it's not any someone talking nonsense or you know, you know, spoiling the stream and and you know just absolute you know, making silly comments or you know, anything about boxing. You know, you're entitled to your opinion. So yeah, thanks guys for everyone that contributed yesterday. Thanks for everybody coming on. Thanks for people that that aren't able to watch the live stream and watch the live stream afterwards. Uh, that leave their opinions. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and I want to go on to Billy Joe Saunders and Chris Eubank Jr. So we know Billy Joe Saunders and Chris Eubank Jr. are having a back and forth. Chris Eubank Jr. has come out and said that Billy Joe, you're not the A side. I'm the A side. You quit against Canelo Alvarez. You quit against Canelo Alvarez. You don't. You don't deserve five million. Now, I am against the five million in the sense. No, I, I actually, I'll say, I'll put it like this: Billy Joe's negotiating. Billy Joe's telling him what he wants. 
He's entitled to say if he thinks he wants he, that fight's worth that much and he's offered five million. But generally, what happens when you're negotiating? You start off high. You know, Billy Joe probably knows he's not going to get five million for that fight because that fight's not worth that much. There's no way that that fight, unless unless he's just put a number out there that he really wants, but he's just saying it because he knows that he doesn't really want the fight or he's not interested. So he's just put a number out there that they knows that he knows that isn't realistic. You know, he got seven eight million to fight Canelo. And Canelo's the biggest star in the sport. Eubank hasn't got that kind of pulling power where, you know, he can pull or th even them two together combined haven't got that kind of pulling power where they could make that kind of money, you know? So, uh, yeah, so there's no way that, you know, I can see him getting paid 5 million for it. But I can definitely see him get paid decent money for it. You know, maybe half of that, maybe a little bit less than half of that. You know, he could definitely get paid good money for it. So I, I, I'm not... I don't think it's wrong with Billy Joe asking for five million. Why not? You know, if, who knows? He may be able to get it. But the fact, the fact of the matter is that I think Chris Eubank saying he's not the A-side. To be honest, I don't know who the A-side, because I don't know what it means by that for these two, because neither of them are world champions. If, if we're going to go off, like, who's the bigger pulling power? You know, Eubank might be a slightly bigger name, but that's not down to his boxing skills or down to what he's achieved in his career. Uh, Eubank might be a little bit more well-known, you know, to the casuals in the UK than Billy Joe. Um, however, Billy Joe's more accomplished. Billy Joe's achieved more. Billy Joe's a two-weight world champion. So he's achieved more in the game, right? So, and, he, and, and most importantly, he beat Chris Eubank. That's a big, that's a big, now, when I mean the A side, I don't think either of these guys are the A side in the sense that neither of them has that much pulling power where they can say 60, 40 or 7, you know, this isn't a Khan Brook situation where there was a clear, even though Brook was a world champion, he was, he was himself willing to take 60 or 40% of the, of the purse. Because he knew that Khan was a much bigger name than him and Khan was getting paid a lot more money than him. So he was willing to take 40%. In this situation is that although Billy Joe might have, Billy Joe made a lot of money against Canelo, but that was down to Canelo. Anyone that fights Canelo makes a lot of money. You know, that wasn't really down to Billy Joe. Let, let's be brutally honest. Even the crowd that was there were down for Canelo. So... <laughs> In terms of pulling power, I don't think either of them... I think if there is an A-side in terms of who name goes first on the poster, stuff like that, I think it's Billy Joe because Billy Joe obviously beat him. Billy Joe's obviously uh, a, a more accomplished fighter. So, but in terms of do I think he deserves a bigger split than Eubank? Possibly. Uh, uh, it's tough to say. It's tough to say because generally for me... Although all these things about belts and all of that matter, I think it's more about how much you sell. It's more about how big a star you are. It's more about how many seats you can fill. And I don't think uh, Billy Joe's a bigger name or a bigger star than Chris Eubank, where he can sell stadiums and, uh, you know, more so than Eubank. So I think they kind of... They kind of need each other at this point. I think both Eubank and, and, and Saunders need each other because I think it's going to... I think. I think whoever wins that fight can go on to fight for world honours. You know, it kind of eliminates the one that loses. I think it puts them in limbo, really, because where do they go? They, they've got nowhere to go if they lose. Um, and actually, the fight's quite intriguing. You know, most people would say that Billy Joe schools Chris Eubank. Um, I've never thought that that fight would be that easy for Billy Joe. Uh, I think Billy Joe definitely improved. And you'd have to say that his boxing skills are far superior to Eubank. And Billy Joe actually has a style that's all wrong for Eubank. However, there's a lot of intangibles and a lot of things that's changed. Billy Joe suffered a, a you know, a, a bad eye injury. Um, Billy Joe is the hunger there. You know, we know that Billy Joe doesn't always live the life. He doesn't always have the hunger. So, is he hungry? And Eubank isn't as talented as Billy Joe. But Eubank, one thing we know is that he lives the life, he stays fit, he's in the gym, you know. Could that get him over the line against Billy Joe Saunders? Now, I'm pretty sure Billy Joe Saunders will train hard if he's fighting uh, Chris Eubank. But the fact of the matter is that that first fight, when you look at it, that first fight was close. Right? And a lot of people seem to say that Billy Joe schooled Eubank. Come on. 
Go watch that fight back. It was no... I watched that fight a couple of times. Billy Joe didn't school him. Now, I know a lot of people say Billy Joe was half fit for that fight. Billy Joe normally does well for a couple of... Uh, for four, five, six rounds. And then he slows down. Generally, I saw that against Andy Lee. That was his world title fight. You know, against David Lemieux was the only time. But David Lemieux is a very, very limited fighter. And Billy Joe's style was all wrong for Lemieux. Eubank is a little bit more athletic than... See, Eubank's feet aren't great. And Billy Joe's style is, is wrong for Eubank, but Eubank's a little bit more active than Lemieux. He, he hasn't got the punching power of Lemieux, but he could definitely outwork Billy Joe. Eubank's just got to Eubank's just got to cut off the ring a lot better because Eubank Eubank's strange to me because Eubank's got really good hand speed, but it, I feel like he's a bit like Adrian Broner sometimes. He just doesn't let his hands go enough for me. He just doesn't like even in the Morrison fight. There was times he had him hurt, and he just backed off and he's just really strange he doesn't he needs to be more ruthless you know and he needs to learn how to cut off the ring so with billy joe he needs to learn how to cut off the ring otherwise billy joe's just gonna outbox him again and win a points decision i do think i do think that if you know eubank learns how to cut off the ring i do think that fight becomes very intriguing i think it's intriguing now because billy joe's got an injury which you know, we don't know how we don't know how that's gonna affect him moving forward. That's a serious injury. You know, I know a lot of people that think Eubank's gonna beat Billy Joe. You know, so that that's a very intriguing fight for me. Very intriguing matchup. I don't know what you guys think, but that's a that's definitely a good fight for me. Um, I don't know how you guys have that, but I'd like to see that fight. That's an intriguing matchup. But I'd love to know your guys' opinion of it. Uh, do you think Billy Joe beats? Chris Eubank, or do you think Chris Eubank will, will reverse that decision this time and beat him? That's a great fight, man. That's a great fight. These are the fights that we need to see. These are the fights that we need to see. It's a great fight. I'm telling you, it's a great, great fight. Uh, in terms of the money, I don't know whether there's enough money now for either guy. Uh, Chris Eubank is on Sky Sports. Maybe they could put that fight on pay-per-view. Are people going to be interested? I don't think so. I think, they, I think that fight is probably going to be viewed like Calm Brook, where it's two guys without a title. One guy's had his eye socket, you know, busted. The other guy, he's, a lot of people see him as a guy that, you know, is, is living off his dad's name. You know, even though I think it's unfair, I think Eubanks had some good wins. And I don't think Eubanks is as bad as what people make him out to be. I think Eubank has got tools. He has got attributes there that could, that could be dangerous. For a lot of fighters, but I just think that I, I I just think there's I think that people people look at him and think that he's not that great. But I again I, I've all, I've not re I don't really again I don't really go off what the media says. I don't really go off what people say. I go off studying styles. And a lot of people say Chris Eubank can't win world titles. Yeah, he can. Against the right style. If you put the right style in with Chris Eubank, there's guys that Chris Eubank can beat. Now, does he beat Demetrius Andre? No. Does he beat Charlo? I don't know. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. That would be an intriguing matchup. I'd like that fight. You know, I think Morata, he has a good chance. Golovkin, no. Um, and at 168, I think, I think most of the guys beat him at 168. But at 160, if the right guy becomes world champion who knows chris eubank might be able to win a world title i'm not saying chris eubank's not good enough i think some people seem to think that chris eubank's not good enough this that and the other i don't see it that way i think against certain styles chris eubank can do well it just depends it just depends stylistically what fight is there if you put a guy like billy joe or android in there and they're at their best the chances are billy i mean chris eubank isn't going to be able to deal with them but if you put somebody that's a bit a bit likes to have a fight you know, Eubank may do very well. So it just depends. Styles make fights. I think Chris Eubank stylistically for certain fighters could be a problem. But then there's certain styles that could be a problem for Chris Eubank. You know? See, per personally, Andy Lee and Chris Eubank, that would have been a good fight. If, if you know, if, if, if Eubank got an opportunity to fight for the WBO, he may have beaten Andy Lee. And he would have definitely beaten Shifa Asufi at super middleweight to become world champion. So at the end of the day, sometimes you're in the right place at the right time. You know, so 
Uh, I think sometimes pe a lot of people are harsh with Eubank. I don't think he's as bad as what people make him out to be. I'm not saying I think he's brilliant, but I don't think he's as bad as what people make him out to be. And I think there's potential there. And if Roy Jones can work with him and, and get him to improve some of the things that I mentioned, I definitely think that Chris Eubank um, can do things at world level. But that's just my opinion. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about this uh, This back and forth with Billy Joe and, and Chris Eubank, guys. Leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.